Okay, so this is it. Slater's 50-50. I haven't been here in two years. Joe, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Doing good. Okay, so here's what we're doing. We are launching Burger Wars, yeah. right? Right. Me and you, it's our new thing, a new series. Uh -huh. And we're doing Slater's 50-50 today. Right. And then we're going over to G Burger right. in, I think, La Habra. Right. And then we'll just have a reigning champion, and each week, or each time we do a video, yeah. not every week, uh, we'll try and bump the reigning champion off. Right. So are you ready to go try it? Oh, heck yeah. Okay, I so we're, to try this. we're just going to go in, order one burger, and then have it cut in half. Right. Try it and leave. Okay. Sounds right, good. Let's go do it. Yep. Okay, so we just talked to the place, and they said their best seller is just the 50-50. And it's designed to perfection. It's their signature patty. Now, let me show you how crazy this is. Their other favorite, which we chose not to do today, uh, what is it called? Peanut Butter and Jealousy. Yeah, Peanut Butter and Jealousy. <laughs> That's a Slater's favorite also, award-winning. Sterling Silver Ground Beef topped with bacon, creamy peanut butter, strawberry jelly, and a honey wheat bun. That's crazy. Is that crazy? They have the most amazing thing. Big Daddy Melts. How about this one? The Eat Your Veggie Burger. That's awesome. It smells heavenly. All right, now this smells amazing. Here it is. There's the extra patty hanging over. I've been here before, and I have to say, I've piled a lot more on my burger, but this is their standard one. They said this is their best. Uh, the bread is kind of airy. It looks like a lot, but it's really kind of hollow. And that burger is huge. And see, it's pink. They said it's, it's well done, but the bacon doesn't brown. It's 50% bacon on their patty and 50% beef. That's what 50-50 means. All right, so let's take a look. You got, you have the other half, right? I have the other half. All right, you got the other half. Do you mind having the light in your eyes? Are you okay with no, it? No, that's okay. okay. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let you try it first. Okay. And then I'll have you film me trying it. All right. All right, we're just gonna pick up this bad boy. Yeah, I love it. They put a knife in every burger. Wow. That, oh that looks like a whole burger, dude. This, and it feels like a whole burger. This, yeah, it's, it's half in name only. Right. All right. Here we All go. Right, so here we go. I love it. I love it. Oh, Look at that. Fuck. Get a napkin. There you go. Yep. Don't worry about it. We're like family here. Oh my god. All right. So as soon as you took a bite, you taste the flavors going on. Seriously, this tastes like a backyard. This tastes like something I would cook at home. Right. You you can. It's almost got a charcoal flavor to it. It's 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 really? delicious. So it's like a charbroiled. It's diverse. totally. I mean, my God, that's fresh. Really? Oh, the bread man. isn't too much. Not for me. No. no. It's all good. Yeah. Totally. All right. We're live. Good. All right. I have to tell you. Look at the bottom here. All the juice is already soaked into the bread. It's awesome. This is how moist and 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 meaty and delicious the patty is that it's just absorbing all the juice. So don't worry about the bread. It's getting all its flavoring right there. So let's try this out right now. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it definitely tastes like a backyard burger. Wow, I don't remember it being this good when I came here last time, even though I loved it. The bacon flavor was totally there, huh? Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. I think that's why. All right, yeah, this meat, this burger is awesome. <laughs> okay, well, we just noticed, we didn't even realize, we just realized in yours, there's an egg inside. Mm -hmm. There's an egg in the burger. I didn't even see that in the list, silly me. That's what, that gave it a, so we got bacon and egg. It's almost like a breakfast burger, huh? It's, oh man. How good is that? Definitely the best burger I think I've ever had. So far, honestly, it's the best burger you've honestly, ever had. Honestly, the best burger I've ever had. Okay, G Burger's got a lot of work out of it. Wow, this guy's not pulling over. Wow. Look at this guy. He probably didn't see it. He didn't see out the back? No, he's doing it. What a nimrod. Bummer. Hey, you better stop soon, dude. You're going to the next. This guy's an idiot. Uh, this guy's drunk. Look at Sears. Oh, Sears. Well, never mind. That explains it. All right, on to the next burger war. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little windy. Forgive me. Uh, anyway, here is G Burger. See the little sign right there? 
it really is a good place. We've been here before. Uh, you get your burger how you want it, and uh, so let's go on in and order something. I'm gonna go over here and show. He recommended uh, the truffle burger, which is uh, Angus beef, high rise bun, portobello mushrooms. They did a they did an article on this: roasted red peppers, Asiago cheese, white truffle oil, and garlic aioli. Uh, that's a nine dollar burger. So that's the one he said is the most popular, and uh, so we're gonna go with that one instead of the G burger. Okay, so here's our burger, right? Wow, that's beautiful. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. That's beautiful. Okay, so there, is that chilies on there, or what is that? The, these roasted are the peppers. Uh, red, yeah, roasted red peppers. Roasted red peppers, mushrooms, uh, beautiful patty hanging over. Garlic aioli. Oh yeah, there's garlic in there. Was it aioli? Is that what it's called? Uh, aioli. Aioli. Mm -hmm. Is that grilled onions right there? I'm looking at. Right uh, that sure looks like it. That's beautiful. And I don't remember what kind of cheese. Um, um, gosh. It was an Italian cheese, I think. And then there's the, the spread with the oh, garlic. That's, that's the garlic that's aioli. That's the garlic aioli right yeah. there. Okay, so. You want me to cut it in half? You want to cut it in half? You cut it in half, please. Beautiful. And this also, what was the last one? Do you remember the cost on the last one? I can't remember. Uh, it's like $9 or something, $10? A little bit more, I thought, because we got the two thirds. Oh, that's right. We upped it up by $2. The other one was $9.89, but we upped the patty. This one's $9.75. Okay, so you go first. Your palate's all clean. We've been drinking cucumber water. Yep. Our palate's are going to save a shot of that real quick. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. It smells great. All right. Now, I'm not Give a, that a try. I'm not a big mushroom fan, but I'm going to... Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. it's all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. All right, cool. Oh, and people said I get too close on people, so... I'm gonna stay back here, okay? Mm. Take your time. Taste all the flavors. Better than you thought it would be? Actually, yeah. Yeah? Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> what? Bye. Wow, this is a lot of... Wow. Okay. I love this. That roasted red pepper is amazing, dude. The garlic's amazing. Okay. Wow. Okay. This burger has a lot more interesting, unique flavors. I can understand why they got a write-up on this. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a white truffle burger. Um, all right, let me give it one more try. Hold on. Mm. All right, what do you got for me there? What do you know? Very good burger. Like we were talking, <clears throat> it's more exotic, more gourmet tasting. I prefer Slater's. Honestly, I prefer Slater's. It's more, at least my speed, but I don't want to take anything away from this one because they really did a bang-up job with all the exotic combinations of the, of the, the red peppers the garlic aioli, and the, um, uh, the portobello mushrooms. Even though I don't like mushrooms, this was an outstanding burger. I prefer Slater. So, okay, cool. Hey, what do we do if we tie? I mean, what do we do if we split the season? We have to talk about it. What? We have to talk about it. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. The most amazing thing about this place is the flavor combination. The roasted red peppers with the garlic and the mushrooms and, and the and the cheese they chose was flawless. They put together a gourmet flavor. Uh, in fact, that's what G Burger stands for, gourmet burgers. Um, it's so close. Um, I have to tell you, I think the only difference is that I felt like I felt like the bacon in my burger mix over at Slater's took it to another level. This was a regular hamburger patty where the other hamburger patty, everything was good, but the other hamburger patty exploded. So I gotta tell you, I would give a tie, but since we're at Burger Wars, we gotta pick a winner. I'm going with Slater's 50-50. Congratulations, you guys, Anaheim Hills. You are our first champion on Burger Wars. I'll see you on the next Burger Wars. Take care, you guys.